let's make festive fruits and nuts cake. Let me bring the slice onto the plate and look at this. How spongy and yummy, delicious looking, perfect looking fruit cake loaf. Fruitier, nuttier, little citrusy flavor and sweet as well. This fruit cake recipe is one of my favorite to prepare these days. I do not wait for the holiday season, but I love to prepare this cake any time of the year. So let's get started. Let's start preparing the batter for this cake. Into the mixing bowl, take one cup of fat yogurt. Cream cheese or Greek yogurt can be used as well. 3 quarter cup of sugar, half to 3 quarter cup of sugar can be used, half cup oil, beat all these three ingredients really well. Until it looks silky like this. Next. For the dry ingredients, here I have one and a half cups of plain flour, quarter cup of custard powder, here I have baking powder and we need one teaspoon of baking powder. Here I have baking soda. So we need baking soda and baking powder. Half teaspoon of baking soda. If you have just baking powder, then use two teaspoons of baking powder. If you have only baking soda, then use one teaspoon of baking soda for this recipe. But I prefer to combine them both for the best texture. Sift through all dry ingredients. Now mix wet and dry ingredients together so we have now cookie dough kind of a mixture not quite cake batter yet but do not be tempted to add liquid yet i'm going to add one teaspoon of vanilla extract here i have lemon I'm going to use zest of a lemon so if you have a fresh lemon or orange you can use some zest to add some fresh flavors in it because it's a fruit cake I love some fresh flavor in my cake rather than dull flavor and lemon or orange cakes an amazing flavor and also, I'm going to add some juice of lemon. It smells so amazing here. Let's use the sieve again. It smells amazing here. Awesome. Now, mix really well and see how much water or liquid you need to prepare the cake better. So I'm going to add little water at a time, two tablespoon water at a time. And when I prepare egg free cakes, I prefer to keep the batter thicker compared to the cakes made with egg. Two more tablespoon. All right, all right. All right, so this is how I keep the batter. It is quite thick as you can see. If you prepare thin batter, the cake will sink in the middle. So this is how it should be. So it took little over quarter cup of water, but add water as you go. Next, ready to add nuts. I'm using mixed nuts like cashew, pistachio, almonds, walnut, but you can use your favorite nuts here and here I have mixed uh, 
dried fruits includes cherry, tutti frutti, raisins, like a golden raisins. The oven is ready. So as you can see, all mixed festive dried fruits. I add more tutti frutti than other fruits. Mix it. Just fold in. Do not mix vigorously now. And this is the perfect looking batter. Loving the color and the texture of batter already. So I'm imagining now the cake. Yummy looking cake. Now, ready to take out into the cake tin. I'm using bread loaf pan already greased with oil and I'm using parchment paper or butter paper can be used at the bottom to remove the cake easily once it's done. So, ready to get the batter into the baking tray. even out into the pan. Tap the tray a few times to get the air bubbles out. And the cake is ready to go into the preheated oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for 40 minutes. And I would love to share a few tips here when preparing the batter for this uh, egg-free cake. Uh, be sure to keep the batter thick and not thin. If you want to bake this cake faster, use wide pan instead of bread loaf pan because it takes up to even 60 minutes to bake uh, this cake loaf uh, due to its thickness. And another reason is that it's egg free as well. Normally even the cakes are made with eggs bakes a little faster compared to the cakes uh, made without eggs. So be sure to keep all these tips in your mind before start baking this cake and you will absolutely fall in love with this festive cake. After about 20 minutes I set my uh, 1 to 300 degrees Fahrenheit because the cake is almost nice golden brown in color but I want the inside of the cake baked really well and this is a small unit so it bakes the cake faster so use your judgment and keep an eye on it when you bake the cake for the first time all right so our cake is almost done 40 seconds left all right so let's remove the cake oh my god look at that golden brown color and look at how puffy, just like a pillow, it has risen carefully. Remove from the oven. Bring on to the heat proof surface and allow it to cool into the pan for about 15-20 minutes. But before that, let's check if the cake is done or not. When the inserted knife comes out clear, the cake is done. After about 20 minutes, when the pan has slightly cooled, run your knife around the edge. The baking tray is too warm and I am crossing my finger that the cake will come out without breaking so be sure to run your knife really well loosen it up and here I have my tray just flip it awesome the cake has come out without breaking and look at this beautiful looking loaf. Slice it up. Mm, smells so amazing here. 
the top is a little crusty that's how I like this cake with coffee and let me show you oh steam coming out of this loaf I need to cut it properly look at this oh my goodness I simply love the color let me bring the slice on to the plate and look at this how spongy and yummy delicious looking perfect looking fruit cake loaf finally the cake is ready to be served and i can't wait to dig into this yummy looking cake fruity nuttier little citrusy and little sweet i love this cake it's one of my favorite and my favorite actually is to eat the crusty part look at this it's very airy very light and you can see that my mouth is watering right <laughs> mm. this is the color i'm talking about when i say um the cakes made with egg usually have that uh, uh, color kind of a little bit uh, light yellow uh, that we do not get uh, usually when we make the cakes without eggs and so the solution is custard powder now if you do not have custard powder add a little bit of a cornstarch and yellow food color so that's basically your homemade custard powder when you serve this cake to your crowd no one will be able to know that it is made without eggs it has the perfect result close to the cake made with eggs i hope you enjoyed watching this video making of festive fruits and nuts cake please do like and comment below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for new recipe videos every week you can also visit my website baunaskitchen.com for new recipe tips tricks and ideas in the kitchen you can follow me on facebook twitter instagram pinterest Baunas kitchen is everywhere you can download Bonus Kitchen apps totally free on your iOS, Android and many other mobile devices. You can watch me on a big TV screen using Roku, Amazon Fire or YouTube app itself. Thanks for watching and see you soon.